In part 1, we pointed the existence of a link between the apostles and the twelve zodiacal signs. Peter is the sign of Pisces and the current astrological age, started in 160 BC and next to expiration. The ongoing transition to the new astrological age should imply a new rotation of the zodiac and of the apostles. If the original plan was respected, Judas would earn the title of first apostle. Nevertheless, Judas decided to betray. In the four Gospels, the apostles always move and act together as they were one. Judas and Peter differ from the others because of their attitude to think and act individually. The life of Peter and Judas during the last days of Jesus is worthy of a careful examination. Everything starts soon before the Easter. One of the twelve, the one called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and asked, what are you willing to give me, if I deliver him over to you? So, they counted out for him thirty pieces of silver. During the Last Supper, Jesus reveals the existence of a traitor, and the disciples pray him to say the name of the guilty. Jesus answered, It is the one, to whom I will give this piece of bread, when I have dipped it in the dish. Then, dipping the piece of bread, he gave it to Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot. As soon as Judas took the bread, Satan entered into him. So Jesus told him, What you are about to do, do quickly. But no one at the meal, understood why Jesus said this to him. As soon as Judas had taken the bread, he went out. And it was night. Jesus announces that the time has come and provides the last recommendations, including a strange invitation to get weapons. If you don't have a sword, sell your cloak, and buy one. After the supper, Jesus retires to pray, feeling a terrible anxiety. And being in anguish, he prayed more earnestly, and his sweat was like drops of blood, falling to the ground. Despite the suffering, he prays for the Father's will to be done. In that situation, one of the twelve arrived. With him was a large crowd, armed with swords and clubs. The betrayer had arranged a signal with them. The one I kiss is the man, arrest him. Going at once to Jesus, Judas said, Greetings, Rabbi, and kissed him. Betrayest thou the Son of Man? Jesus does not oppose to capture. In that moment, Simon Peter, who had a sword, drew it and struck the high priest's servant, cutting off his right ear. The servant's name was Melchus. But Jesus answered, No more of this. And he touched the man's ear and healed him. Jesus is then brought before the high priest to be questioned, while Peter waits outside, in the courtyard. One of the servant girls of the high priest, came by. When she saw Peter warming himself, she looked closely at him. You also, were with Jesus, the Nazarene, she said. But he denied it. I don't know or understand what you're talking about. He said, and went out into the entryway, and the rooster crowed. New questions, drive Peter to deny any relationship with Jesus a second time, and a third. Immediately the rooster crowed the second time. Then Peter remembered the word Jesus had spoken to him, before the rooster crows twice, you will disown me three times. And he broke down and wept.
When Judas realizes the gravity of his gesture, it's too late. He was seized with remorse, and returned the thirty pieces of silver to the chief priests and the elders. I have sinned, he said, for I have betrayed innocent blood. What is that to us? They replied. That's your responsibility. So Judas threw the money into the temple and left. Then he went away, and hanged himself. The chief priests picked up the coins and said, It is against the law, to put this into the treasury, since it is blood money. So, they decided to use the money, to buy the potter's field, as a burial place for foreigners. The figure of Jesus in the Gospels, is not only a human being. He is the most intimate and crystalline essence, of each person, animal, object, or natural phenomenon. His commandments, are the expression in word, of the divine laws, of the balances, that govern both the visible and the inner world. To betray Jesus, means to upset those balances, going against oneself, and against one's own nature. In the Gospels, Judas is the apostle who falls into error to pursue personal objectives. But at the same time, he is an instrument of the divine will, to bring the kingdom of heaven to earth. Among the apocryphal Christian papyri, found since 1940, there is also the controversial Gospel of Judas. In this very rare manuscript, Jesus reveals Judas, that the secret of the Gospel, is kept among the stars. Look, I have explained to you the mysteries of the Kingdom, and I have taught you about the error of the stars, and, send it, on the twelve years. Despite the efforts of the restorers, the explanation of what the error of the stars is, is lost forever. Perhaps, the solution of the mystery, is hidden in the episodes of the Passion, and in its symbols. The Twelve and the Traitor, the Thirty Coins. The Dipped Bread and the Invitation to Do Quickly. The Cloak and the Sword. The Drops of Blood. The Kiss of Judas and the Cut of the Ear. The Denial of Peter and the Rooster Crow. The Suicide of Judas. The Return of Money and the Potter's Field. Decoding all of these symbols, is the pathway to understand what the error of the stars really is. In the third part, we will see how the Aeon of Judas, will contravene his own nature, to allow the Kingdom of Heaven to manifest on Earth.